What's up, everybody? This is Dallas Stone here, and today I just wanted to do a quick video um, from an escape from Tarkov. And what is the first task that you should be doing um, when you purchase this game? Okay, so you're a new player, just purchased the game. Uh, you trying to get your head around the game a little bit because there's a lot to learn. The first thing and the first task you should do so to, to, to get tasks first off, just go to trading. You're gonna see a bunch of these characters or dealers. Um, you want to quickly go to the therapist. And in Therapist, you should be able to get this uh, task called Shortage. So grab Shortage, um, and you want to finish Shortage and Sanitary Standards Part 1. The reason being is because you can get the car first aid kit, which is super useful in this game, because it replaces, it's essentially a two-in-one. It replaces uh, the AI two med kits, and the bandages it essentially combines them together to make one so that way you can just easily hockey uh one one hockey instead of having an ai2 a bandage and then a painkiller you just all you need is just hockey a car first aid kit so yeah so you definitely want to do that because once you complete the, those two tasks you're going to be able to purchase the car our first aid kit also another thing that's really good about doing this task is if you go into um, interchange so interchange is a normal raid um, sometimes it'll say an easy easy or normal but you can see some say insane right um, so a normal raid it's not too crazy and it's not too difficult if you're new to the game obviously you probably want to do this offline to kind of see the different extract points. But let's say you've already gone through um, this map offline. You already know where the um, where the extract points are. Uh, so you can move on to this next step, which is I'm going to... So I'm actually going to do this offline right now as well. Just to kind of run, to, run down where to find Silouas, which is task number one. And where to find the gas analyzers. So I'm just going to load this up here. So yeah, so the very first thing you should be doing is going into offline mode, figuring out where the extract points are in interchange. That way, if you get to kill a bunch of scavs and you kill a bunch of players and you get to loot them, you do know how to get out, right? Because even if you pick up Silouas and you find it for your task, if you don't come out with those items, you lose those items. So it's really important to know where the extract points are. What's really cool in this point nine patch is there is now three exits. If you have 3,000 ruples, you can go to the power station um, and you can um, you can pay 3,000 ruples to, to extract from that point if that is the closest extract to you. So that's pretty cool that they added in an extra extract point. As long as no one else has already used it, the vehicle should be there and you'll you check it out. So, okay, so here I am. I've spawned in the south, um, south east. I'm also going to put in the description a link to, so yeah, so this is one of the extract points if you come from the other side. Okay, just got to go into that corner. I'll put a link into a map of interchange for you as well. Uh, in the description of the, of the video. So there's no um, scavs here. So I'm just gonna, gonna run to where you need to find stuff. So you're gonna see that there's three store shops inside this interchange. There's um, Ollie, Idea, and um, Iowa. Okay, so Ollie, this is where you're gonna find the gas analyzers. I'm just going to quickly run to the cashiers here. So I'm assuming Ollie is kind of like a Home Depot for those in the Americas. So here you're going to find on these shelves, this shelf here, these shelves here. See, this is a gas analyzer right here. All right. See, another gas analyzer. So a good way to know where this is is it's by the seven um, cashier okay the cashier registered registered seven 
See, there's another gas analyzer. And these actually go for quite a bit too. So it's worth just picking them up. Helping out your friends and stuff like that. Finish up their tasks. Um, sanitary part 2, you need 3 of them. So it's worth picking up. Okay, so that's uh, the gas analyzers. Now, to find the Silouas, this is a little bit tougher. Um, but definitely all doable in interchange. Now, like I said about interchange, the... The PvPing in here is not as hardcore as customs. The, uh, the scav spawns are not as hardcore as customs. So doing this task sh in this map is going to be a lot easier than, let's say, you deciding to do this task in uh, Shoreline, for example. Okay, so I'm just kind of running through here. Now this area is the high loot reward generic here so there's gonna be lots of pvping happening here so just be very careful now what you're looking for is this store called mantis okay so mantis has lots of meds in here so you, you can go into mantis you're gonna to start to see so that's a car med you can pick up that's an ai2 med kit there's a med box right here that you can loot Blood set. You can pick that up if you want. So it's another AI two. Figurines are very, really um, high value. Another car med here. So again, this is RNG, right? There's a lot of um, there's there's a duffel bag here that's worth checking in case it comes with the silua. This is a med bag right here, worth checking. Um. Yeah, this is all on RNG, so there is a chance that I might not even get any silos whatsoever. Right, there you go. Bam. Okay, inside the med, the med bag. So yeah, so it's good to make sure you're very thorough. Sometimes they spawn on like, like shelves, right? Like sometimes, sometimes they spawn here. Sometimes they spawn on like these shelves here. Painkillers typically spawn there. Is this a silo? And there you go. There's another silo right here right and this was just in like a little cabinet so there we go so two syllables already in mantis okay so now let's continue on and so i mean there are more places inside the mall but if you're just starting out as a new player i think this is a pretty decent route to go so this is the center of the mall okay we're going through out through the front and the best way to know that you're in the center of this mall is that you'll see two of these um like this big atrium i guess you call it or or parking thing right you'll see it'll say ultra over here this is the ultra mall let me just quickly ultra right ultra mall so you just go right up the middle and there's mantis okay um and then there's ambulances along like inside these parking lots all right so let me just quickly show you where these ambulances are and there's always a chance of silhouettes spawning in here as well so always check blood set some bandages so this one unfortunately didn't have it so this is in between ultra and idea aka ikea and then there's another ambulance right over here we're gonna quickly check that Killers, so yeah, so no silhouettes here either. So there we go. So then now you just kind of so I know where the exit is. It's um, press OO here, northwest. So again, this is a lot easier if you have a second monitor with the map up, it'll be a lot easier for you to um, get your bearings around a little bit. And then there's one more ambulance here. I think there's also an ambulance way over on the other side. I just didn't really... It wasn't uh, uh, the route that I wanted to go. Because obviously this was very, very quiet, right? There was no scavs or anything like that. There was no players. So I was able to just kind of run through this. When you're playing inside an actual raid, it's probably not going to be as quiet as this, right? It definitely won't be as quiet as this. go so you open this up sometimes you have to check the floors. sometimes they just lay on the floor um, 
Yep, cool. And then, so now I'm just going to run to the extract. And I'm just going to kind of speed this up. Um, so that way you don't have to watch the whole video. But in case you do not know where the exit is, um, this will show you where the exit is. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Um, you know, leave me a comment if you don't like the video and uh, give me a thumbs down. You know, it's always good to know if you don't like the video as well. And if you don't like this type of content. And um, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, just press the, the, the subscribe button. Also, I forgot to mention that, you know, if you're doing this, you should probably put it into your alpha container. Because if you die and things are inside your alpha container, um, you don't lose it. Obviously, this is offline mode, so it doesn't really matter. Because I'm not going to be able to keep any of this stuff anyways, but just worth pointing out. Here's the extract point right here, right by this train. Alright, thank you so much. See you guys again next time.